Greetings and salutations, relaxed gamer nation, and welcome back to another episode of a survival, uh, soul survival. There we go. Couldn't think here. So I've been doing a little bit of planning in between episodes. Not much. Uh, the the happy happy cargo ship is gone. <laughs> it was hilarious what what it was doing. Um, but when when blocks fell off. They would fly away, and most of, most of the time they got stuck here. Just enough for Bob to actually pick it up. But then you have blocks like those ones over there that are pink that are not being touched because Bob is busy. On another note, our safe zone, well, our, what what is this? It, it's our shield generator is complete it is done um, I don't know where my okay, I'm gonna this might be dumb but safe zone off okay how is my shield doing tell me about my shield shield no shield generator no there might be a setting that I have to modify. Down in my bunker. Uh, let's see here. Emitter OK is false. Why is it false? Select power scale disabled. Shield size width. Now these have to go up by about three times, I think. Meter okay. Meter line of sight. Must woken. So if we this is my backup emitter, I think, right? It's saying it's fine. Okay. So the table is a backup, right? Okay, show me that sexy, sexy shield. It's no shield. Why? Mm. Is it still charging? True is suspended. False is a backup. False. Grid compatible. True. Station meter type is true. Controller, full charge in a few seconds. Visible, always visible, please. And orange. Okay, so 150 is not enough. Uh, we need to do a depth change. Actually, we, should, we could do an offset change. Forward offset, please. Controller offset. Depth offset. Now let's do 50. That should be noticeable. Okay, um, okay, I need to bring it back a few steps. Controller. Let's take it down to 40. Okay, that'll work. Uh, width we can probably shrink by a about 20%? Now, controller width, 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 20%. So, what would that be? Let's say one third is 
Okay, let's do 110. And height can come down about a third. Uh, why am I going to this instead of going all the way down to the controller? Well, <laughs> answer yourself that. <laughs> because this is easier to get to. Okay, we can bring it down a bit more. Let's do a 50 high. I don't really need to. Eight fifty with one hundred. Fifty enough? Looks like it. Extends to that. Awesome. Perfect. Now when my guns actually fire out, off, my shield will drop like a rock. <laughs> as we might have, as we experienced from the safe zone. Uh, I'll keep the safe zone block there. I don't really need it, but I'll keep it there anyway. And we are putting down drills to actually start getting this. set this up in the next episode. Oh, actually. Okay, I'm going to set this up and I will bring you back in a moment. Okay, my shield is fluctuating here. Um, I'm being attacked. My turrets are going crazy. Oh, they're resetting. They're out of range, but that's still firing at me. Which is fine as long as my shields don't go red. Which they're threatening to do. White, blue. I do have like six million shields, so uh, I could take a little while. What are they shooting at? Looks like my low point is 4.5 million shields, so yeah. Um, power scale. Do what? That help? Uh oh. Uh oh, overloaded. Uh, megawatt? Shoot. Uh, bad, 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 bad. I, uh, I oopsed. I may have oopsed. I definitely, definitely, definitely oopsed. Shield is overloaded. Great. But, good. The enemy is gone. Uh oh. What are you shooting at? Interesting. Guns are resetting. A good. How is my battery power? Good. <laughs> How is my reactor power? Good. Okay. Okay. We're we're doing we're doing okay. 
<laughs> yes. Okay, shield. Come on. Back up and running. It takes like 30 seconds or something like that to get back up and running. I think I screwed up by selecting a power scale. I'm not even sure how this power scale thing works. Um, ignore battery input power. No, I want battery input power. I can shield the HUD. Yep. Oh wait, that's input power, right? Oh, shields to fight with batteries for power. Yeah, that's that's fine. I had like no. So nine point nine million, really. That's not too bad. But we're going to bring the shield rate down to 30%. It should give us bigger overall shields, but a slower charge rate. Maybe. Either way, we have a crap ton of shields. We should be fine. Actually... If we increase our rate, oh, shield. controller, what? Uh, what? What's that going to do for our shields? Maybe it's lower, lowers it. On reactor power, we are pulling about 7 million shields. too badly. Oh, what am I doing here? Okay. Keep that battery power going. I, I, whatever. It works. It protects us. We're good. We're good. I'm going to complete, I'm going to finish working on this and I will bring you back in a moment. Unless something crazy happens. See you in a few. And we're back. My shield holding strong, and I kind of had to, uh, I, I kind of got stuck. And, uh, <laughs> I couldn't get out of the hole. I left my, my, uh, jetpack running when I really shouldn't have. And I ran out of hydrogen. Which is always awesome, right? Oh, it's night time. I'm getting my my programming blocks sorted out here. Um, I need to... Okay, that's good. I need some parts. Because I was sitting by the programming block, my jetpack was on, and then my jetpack ended, and I fell about 20 feet. So I had to do the cheater's way. And that's not supposed to be there. Uh, why is this all confused? I don't understand. Top panel. Go away. Bottom panel. Okay, something happened with the update, right? There we go. 
where uh, the top and bottom panel of these programming blocks, even if it's an old say, even if it's a new say, oh, wait, hold on. Um, basically, the top and bottom panel are reversed on this programming block. Uh, it's been that for a while. Oh, I did. What? I am main. Do we need to put the warnings in here, or is that fine? Let me, let me look here. That's weird. Maybe just warnings? Manage blocks. Moving actions. Check conveyor connection and owner slash faction refinery manual. Manual? I have a manual refinery going? Oh yeah, I do. Which I'm going to actually start moving under here. Uh, but I need to get my uh, my cargo system, my cargo system hooked up over here. So we got it looping through here, through that block, through the safe zone block into this, then down to here, back there, and into there. Yeah. That's, that works. Um, I need to take a look at these again here. Something seems a little strange. times 10 shield components okay I'm keeping 200 that's cool I guess large tubes I'll just up these 200 Tube connector X10 is fine. Zone chips, I have 30. Oh, I have 84. Okay. Cool. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's do another little bit of a sleep rate break here. Because I've been doing a little bit. Fuel is low. I don't like hearing fuel is low. No, our fuel is fine, so don't tell me about low fuel. Thank you. We're doing okay. We have 27 uranium there. I think I gotta set that refinery. Turn the manual off here. So that I can actually start moving stuff around. Because it's probably full. Batteries are looking good. Capacitors are empty. Sure. Stuff is getting ripped and torn. Okay, awesome. Shield generator is blinking. Why? Why is it blinking? It shouldn't be blinking. There's no reason why it should be blinking. I have plenty of power. Unless my my guns fired off recently, which it's possible. No, those are fine. Because I set this part, that could be it. Let's 
just go with what power we have. No, I still have not seen any weather. I'm thinking my save might be bugged, which would not be good. Uh, incoming weather, none. Of course. No weather coming in. I'm thinking my save is bugged. Let's bring in some light rain. Just out of curiosity, it should refresh in for like 2400 seconds. Well, how many seconds is that? It's a lot. Uh, 24. Twenty minutes, give or take. But we shall have beautiful rainy weather right now. <laughs> I was going to make a a vehicle, wasn't I? Man, I am bad at that. Now we have the X10 batteries, which is awesome. That I can use that for my. Yeah, the small batteries, the extend small batteries. I can use that for power. Just clearing out my bars here. Okay, so we need batteries. We need small X10 batteries. Where are you? Here we are, X10. X50 seems a little extreme and requires the X50 components, not the X10 components, so I'm working on X10 components, so we're going to do that. Okay, uh, we have that. Now blocks, we need a gear. A gear to start things off with. We need some parts. I don't need any... What are X10 steel plates for? Is there an X10 block? No. Oh, it might be for some specific X10 item. I don't know what it's under. Tech? No. That's something I should work on. Powerful series. Here we go. Uh, oh yeah, it's needed for some of these items, like the small batteries, which I'm going to be using. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay, next thing we need on the docket is gyroscopes. At least one. We need a cockpit of some sort. I don't think we need to go into the extravagant large cockpit, so we'll get one of these. Uh, hinges. I don't think we need hinges, though I could probably make something that looks strange with hinges. But it could cause severe issues. Severe issues. Uh, thrusters we don't need. Uh, we do need build a repair system. Okay. We'll need a cargo container. Probably a large one. Gonna need a connector. And we could probably put a shield on it too. Uh, let's do something here. Um, I guess we'll work from the front. 
I need parts. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought I took out parts. I probably was going to, but then I saw X10 plates and I was like, what? I'm confused. Bob, really? Thank you, Bob. Thank you very much for actually doing what I wanted you to do. Thank you very much, Bob. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to have to do some funkiness here. Okay. I don't want the large cargo container to be underneath it. So that's just bad news. some funkiness here. Um, right. So if I don't want it to be underneath, I need to use a lock block to bring it above. This will be our connection point. So we need some conveyors. And we'll need some of these small conveyors as well. Because this is going to be transferring large items as well. Is it going to be able to fit out the door? Should be able to. As long as they don't put too humongous of wheels on. Okay, cargo container. We want the large cargo container. It's got three and one. So if I go that, should be fine. Okay, good. I hate using these large car containers on a small ship, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, right? Okay, now I can pad this area with uh, batteries and plates. So let's get some X10 small batteries going.
which needs X10 steel plates to start. Okay. Oh, what? Something actually got close enough for those to fall? Oh. Oh, this is a problem. What is that? It's an adversary. It should not last long. from that mobile drilling platform. Okay. Okay. And away it goes. Crunch. I'm surprised something got that close. But it happens. No, no, go away. Four or five. That should be plenty of battery power. Actually, I need to get rid of this one. Could put some more small batteries in here. I do want to pad that though. Quick. Yeah, let's put some more small batteries in here. Some X10 small batteries. Get those set up. What are you shooting at? Wow. Well, you really suck lasers. <laughs> yeah. They're not the smartest lasers. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, I gotta end this video. It's gone too long as it is. Uh, we'll do some more building on this uh, between episodes. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you want me to get rid of the Happy Cargo Ship mod, uh, please toss it in the comments below, and I will do so. Um, right now, I'm not seeing many of them. They don't seem to appear often. But when they do, it's, it's, a, it's definitely a plus. And I think I need to put some more accurate lasers up. Anyway, until next time, I've been Relax Gamer, and I will see you guys later. Ciao!